it's a new thing for us, you know, bringing a group of athletes to participate in sports in, in Cuba. It's, it's new, and uh, so that has value in itself in the sense that, you know, we're taking them from the United States and immersing them in another country where sports are practiced but understood in a different way. It seems like they swing more often than the American players, you know. They have a whole different philosophy, a whole different approach to the game. And I think that's going to be very interesting for the players. It's a, it's a very special opportunity to be able to just not only play baseball, being able to share baseball in Cuba with the Cubans that love baseball just as much as we do and learning about such an historical event and then going over there to see the place where it happened and all that, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Knowing all we know about our history um, and certain things pop up, you know, the missile crisis and stuff like that, but we've never really spent time on Cuban history and being in a class with Latin American relations and uh, learning all that stuff, it's stuff we've never heard of and you can kind of compare and contrast their revolution with ours and, um, and all that. So it's really interesting to learn about that stuff when it's never really mentioned to us growing up. I'm excited to see how, as far as the Cuban baseball players go, they play the game in a different way from what we've heard and you know we definitely know that because for them it's it's a way off the island. I'm excited just because no one's really been there in forever and oh, they're gonna be good. We have caps that we're gonna wear there that have both the American and the Cuban flag on them. So we're trying our best to get help with international cooperation and friendship. In fact, the scorecards I've got say peace and friendship. There is a, a, a political scientist that said Cuba is a little country, a small country, with a, an impact in foreign policy of a huge country. It's a country that has an incredible production of, of literature, film, arts, science, biotechnology. Doing this trip and opening up to, to that country and its intellectuals and people producing knowledge there benefits our students, but also the institution. I think RISE could benefit of having academic exchanges with labs in Cuba, with writers, artists. So it goes beyond the class. I think it's, it's very important for, for us. I mean, that was a big factor in my decision in coming here, the academics. Uh, obviously a b great baseball school, great campus, but having that academic side behind, behind the great baseball and all that, it's, it's a huge plus.